Hi, Annie Baker here. So today I'm in San Jose, I'm visiting my cousin Chris. Chris has got this huge truck. Today Chris says, oh my gosh, I put my truck up for sale. So I said, oh, that's great. But it was weird when I walked in it, I have to say it kind of looked really dirty. He goes, well, I had the inside detailed and a couple weeks ago we washed the outside, um, but it's just been sitting there. So maybe it's gotten dirty. And it, I was like, ding, ding, ding. This is what a lot of homeowners think. Okay, people look at this truck. Okay, we've got bird hoop all over the top. Beautiful magnolia tree that the birds must like sitting in. Um, oh look, we have a crack right here. What is going on here? Birds all over the back. I mean, really, really, dirt, dirt, dirt. When did he have this wash last? I'm not sure. Again, it got me thinking. I'm a realtor, I deal with selling houses, not trucks, but it's the same concept. So today, I was thinking, how can people improve their curb appeal on a dime? I'm gonna talk about five things that won't cost a lot of money, spruce up your front yard. So if you spend all your money inside, updating appliances, carpet, painting, all those things I've talked about in other videos, let's talk about just some things you can do to get that curb appeal up and not break the bank. So that's what I'm gonna talk about. Stay tuned. Today I'm going to talk about five things you can do to improve your curb appeal on a dime. Again, you probably blew a big chunk of money on the inside preparing the house, new appliances, new carpet, whatever, and you thought, well, the lawn's mowed, leaves are picked up, and you know, it looks good on the outside. But maybe one of these things uh, on this list could make a big difference and not cost too much. Number one, power washing. Oh, it's my favorite. I love power washing. It is so satisfying to see the difference. So a driveway, a walkway, people, it makes the biggest difference. I love it. It feels fresh and clean as well, but it just makes things look, look new. That's what it does. You should be careful on the actual house. It's great to get like under the eaves, any spider webs, you know, leaves up there that are stuck. Uh, and around your doorway, get rid of spider webs, those things, but just be careful. You don't want it to be so strong that it chips your paint or damages any wood. Be careful around windows as well. You don't want any moisture getting inside and causing any other damage. But power washing, it's one of my favorites. If you have one, it costs nothing but a little bit of time. Home Depot runs some. You can get a handyman that will have one and they can go around and power wash the front and the back patio if you have one. Number two, a little update in your landscape, including mulch, mulch. Just get some mulch, a couple bag, bags of mulch, put it in, freshes, freshens up the look, and a few plants that um, are flowering plants. So again, just freshens up the look. It may be $100 and a little bit of mulch and a couple plants. Get whatever's on sale. And I should mention, if you have grass and some brown patches, you can also paint your lawn green. There's a special kind of paint. I've seen it done. It actually looks really good. So that's something to look into if you need to freshen up your grass. Number three, let's say you live at 123 Main Street. You have a little one, two, and a three number up by your front door or by your garage. How long have they been there? Mm, probably a little tarnished, maybe a little old looking. Get to Home Depot, get some new numbers. It's just a tiny detail that will improve your house. It just makes the front look updated. So number four, the exterior lights. The one by your front door, possibly by the garage. One option people can do sometimes is paint them. It's the old brass and it's still not a bad looking shape. Just paint it, huge difference. Or just replace them. That will cost a little bit more, but see what you can do to update that look. Number five, the front door. Maybe just paint it or change out the hardware. Two things, big difference. You've been walking in and out that front door, you don't even notice the scuff mark. You forgot that the handle is the old brass. A door handle doesn't have to be much. A can of paint, easy. Easy fixes. Five things to improve your curb appeal on a dime, people. Don't spend all your time inside and forget the outside like my cousin Chris did with his truck embarrassing. I told him he is not going to show that truck until he gets it washed. So you detail your inside of the house, do a few things to spruce up the outside and it will help your curb appeal. So I hope those tips help. If you have any questions, comment below. Do me a favor if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. 
give me a thumbs up if you like this video and all my contact info is below let me know how i can help you and until next time have a great one